Welcome to the 3CX Quick Start Guide presented by Vox Telesis. In this video, we're going to use 3CX to provision a SIP phone behind a firewall. When we provision a phone, we are applying a predetermined set of configurations to that phone. Once a phone is provisioned, we can easily control the phone's configuration from the 3CX dashboard. In this example, we're going to provision a Yealink T52S SIP phone for John's extension. Before we get started, you will need the following, a 3CX supported SIP phone, see the list and link below, and a properly configured extension. We'll start by logging into your 3CX dashboard. Go ahead and click on the Extensions tab. Click on the extension you want to provision and then click on the Edit button. Click the Phone Provisioning tab and then click the Add button. Choose your phone model from the drop-down list. Enter your phone's MAC address into the MAC address field. Be sure to remove any special characters like colons or dashes. This field only accepts hexadecimal characters. Your phone's MAC address can be found on a sticker on the bottom of your phone, or you can find it in your phone's settings. Click on the Provisioning Method drop-down menu. You will see three choices. Local LAN will be used if your phone and your 3CX server are on the same network. 3CX SBC Remote will be used if you are using a 3CX Session Border Controller. We will discuss SBCs in an upcoming video. Direct SIP will be used if your phone and 3CX server are on separate networks. In this example, we will use the Direct SIP option because our phone is on our local network and our 3CX server is hosted on the internet. Go ahead and click on the Options tab. Make sure that Disallow Use of Extension Outside of LAN is unchecked. This will allow the endpoint to contact the 3CX server on the internet. Leaving this box checked will prevent the phone from properly provisioning. Click on the OK button when finished. Before we get started on the phone, please make sure that the phone has been reset to factory defaults. In this example, we are using a Yealink T52S, which can be reset by holding the OK button for 10 seconds. Check your phone's documentation to see how to perform a factory reset. Open a browser tab and navigate to the IP address of your phone. The IP address of your phone can be found in the phone settings. Go ahead and log into your phone's admin control panel. Please note that all factory reset Yealink phones use admin as their default username and password. Check your phone's documentation to determine your default username and password. Click on the Settings tab. Next, we will click on the Auto Provision tab. For our next step, we will need the server URL. Go back to your 3CX dashboard. Click on the Extensions tab. Click on your extension, then click on the Edit button. Click the Phone Provisioning tab, right-click on the provisioning link, and click Copy Link Address. Go back to your phone's configuration page. Paste that link into the Server URL form field. Click the Confirm button when finished. Click the Auto Provision Now button. Click OK on the Do You Want to Auto Provision Now pop-up window. The auto provision process may take a few minutes to complete. Your phone will reboot into your provision firmware if everything has been configured correctly. If your phone does not reboot, there might be an issue. Don't worry if you find yourself in a situation where the phone does not reboot. Check your network configuration and server URL, then click the Auto Provision Now button again. When your phone is finished provisioning, you will see the home screen will be slightly different. At the top of the screen, you will see the user's first and last name. At the bottom of the screen, you will see the 3CX logo and a button for the 3CX phone book. Congratulations, you have successfully provisioned a SIP phone with 3CX. If you have any further questions, please check out support.voxtelesis.com.